What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can actually fix your Apple Watch if it's not turning on. Of course, this is not my situation in here. In my case, my Apple Watch is fully functional, but I'm going to show you all the steps you need to perform in order to make sure that your Apple Watch turns on and that this problem gets fixed as soon as possible. I know how annoying this issue is and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you all the possible solutions in order to make sure you fix your Apple Watch and if you are unable to fix it by the end of the video this is most probably because you're facing a much serious issue which might be related to the hardware or something like that because all the steps I'm going to show you are the most common ones that should help you fix the problem that you you've got. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks and tutorials. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now let's go into steps in here and the most important thing is that you need to follow the steps in the specific order because one step is the continuation of the other one or simply complements the other one. Now starting from the very first step in here, what I would ask you guys to double check, might sound silly but double check your charger. Okay, so this is my charger in my case for example we've got my charger in here and then I've got my socket in here so what I would recommend you guys to do is to actually try a different socket first things first if you do not have an alternative socket try connecting it if it's a USB cable connect it into your computer or something like that but try charging it on a different place with a different socket now give a quick look here at the cable at the wire to make sure that you do not have anything which is damaged here on the wires anything that looks damaged or missing placed okay now if everything is fine in here try a different cable as well i know how hard it is to find a different cable in here but make sure that you try double checking if this cable at least is charging a different apple watch if you're able to double check that now if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got or if you're 100 sure that your charger is 100 functional no worries we're moving into the next step in here now one of the issues that might contribute for your apple watch not turning on could be as well the connectivity here between the back of the Apple Watch and the charger itself. As you know here at the back we do have a magnet connection in here as you can see so it's very important to make sure that you do not have anything in here being attached accidentally by the magnet okay. So what you're going to do in here to double check this is you're going to need a few cotton swabs in here okay. The brand doesn't really matter okay you just want to take one real quick and you want to make sure that you properly clean this area here at the back okay so with the cotton swab you want to make sure you clean it over here properly here specifically at the sides here okay so go with around the movement real quick and as you can see i'm able to remove a bit of dust in here it's not fully fully visible in here but i believe you can see over here so it's important to clean properly to make sure that the specific connection in here is done properly okay dust is something normal it happens usually we do have a bit of of dust in here so you might find a few particles which have been attracted here which are a few magnet particles or something like that which are actually creating some issue here when it comes to the connectivity part in here now you want to perform the same step in here of cleaning this specific receiver in here of the charger okay so use something wet i would recommend you a cotton swab okay and then try connecting that specific charger again to your apple watch to see at least if you have the charging logo over there or or if it simply shows up that it doesn't have charge or any other representation here but that shows that the Apple Watch at least is alive right now if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got we're moving into the next step now on the next step I would recommend you guys to perform a hard restart on your iPhone now in order to perform a hard restart all you need to do is press and hold this side key here okay along with this button right here so this is how it goes you're gonna press and hold both of the keys simultaneously until you see the Apple logo on your screen and this is how it goes one two three I'm pressing and holding both of the keys keep on pressing them do not release those keys and here we go it's now restarting do not release it and here we go once you see the Apple logo release those keys and let your Apple watch turn on normally okay now if you do not see the apple logo do not worry we're moving into the next step but most probably i believe you'll be able to see the apple logo here on your screen now let's just wait for a couple seconds and let the apple watch turn on completely to make sure here that the problem is not lying on the software here let's wait for a couple more seconds and let your apple watch turn on now if you're able to see the apple logo this is a good sign it means that at least the apple watch is alive it's responding it's working and 
there should be some software issue or glitch or something bugging, but that should be fixed in just a couple of steps. Let's wait for a couple more seconds and move into the next step. Now, moving into the next step in here, the next thing we're gonna do in here is first things first, deattach here this two belts or bracelets in here. So in order to do this, you wanna tap here on this little button in here and then move it to the left or to the side. Okay, this will quickly be removed, keep it aside. And then you wanna do the same thing in here as well. So hold this button real quick in here and then move it to the side and this should come out easily as that, as easy as that. Now here we go, we do have the Apple Watch clear on our hand, the square real, real quick here. So what you're gonna do in here is simply tap this side button repeatedly in here. You to keep it on the table like this and then you want to tap on this button repeatedly like this now make sure that you are on a flat surface you want to do this you want to perform this exercise on this button as well as on this button as well in both of the buttons okay this one and this one as well. You do not need to apply a lot of pressure, just need to make sure that you are actually tapping on the keys because what happens is from time to time, these keys can become jammed in here, these buttons in here. And this happens due to various reasons in our pocket. We do have a bit of lint or dust outside that can come inside in here and this can create some issues on this key. So I want to make sure that these two keys, which are the only keys, hard keys in here, giving us access to our Apple Watch are working fine. Now, once you're done doing this for a couple seconds, 30 seconds or 45 seconds, you're going to perform the same step, which is the hard restart by pressing and holding both of the keys simultaneously until you see the Apple logo on your screen and then you're gonna release the both of the keys. Keep on pressing them, okay? Just wait for a couple more seconds, release them as soon as you see the Apple logo in here and let's see if the problem is fixed or not. Now, moving into the next step, if you were able to see the Apple logo over there, what I would recommend you guys to do is to actually change the Apple Watch here face on your iPhone device. This might sound strange, but in some scenarios, your iPhone might be connected to your Apple Watch, but it's just not showing up anything in here, and it looks like if it's not turning on, while it might be actually turned on. So what I would recommend you guys to do is to open up Watch real quick in here, okay? Suppose your Apple Watch is on the home screen and change your watch real quick this can be a glitch okay so i'll be going with this one real quick tap on it and tap on add and this should immediately change your apple watch face okay now if the apple watch changed its face watch in here try moving into the next step to see if it's working fine but if it's not we'll need to try using your apple watch and if it's still not working fine, none of the keys or nothing else, we're moving into the next step. Now over here, what I would recommend you guys to do is to actually simply press your Apple Watch, okay? So it's off, okay? You wanna press, press, press here at the top, okay? Make sure you press it. Might sound silly, but it may work, okay? Just simply press it. Of course, not with a lot, a lot of pressure, but make sure you press all the ends in here, okay, here at the top, at the sides, make sure you press. This can help as well uh, bring it back alive. Just give it a try, give it a try in here at the back as well. Press, simply press your Apple Watch, okay? Simply press it, press it as much as you can for like one minute, two minutes, okay? Just simply press it. And then once you're done pressing at the sides as well, now, once you're done pressing, now you need to perform the force restart once again by pressing and holding both of the side buttons in here until you see the Apple logo twice on your screen. Okay, just wait for a couple seconds and let the Apple Watch do its thing. Now I'm gonna connect it to the charger right now because I'm running low on battery here on my Apple Watch. Now, if pressing doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got, we're moving here into the next step. Suppose it's of course not turning on, it's all locked and all that. What I would recommend you guys to do is to simply tap okay so you're gonna tap repeatedly here put it on a flat surface and simply tap your apple watch like this all the corners in here and do not forget after performing one of these taps always perform the hard restart okay so simply tap here on all sides here at the back as well simply tap okay simply tap it now make sure you do not have a rough surface otherwise this must this otherwise this might crack or create any damage here on your screen now simply tap here tap on the sides as well on a flat surface do not forget 
And then after performing this, simply try hard restarting once again by pressing and holding both of the side keys until you see the Apple logo over there. Now, if none of these steps help, what I would recommend you guys to do is to keep it for only 10 minutes inside your fridge. Okay, when I keep this inside your fridge, it might sound awkward, but do not worry, Apple Watch do not have issues because this is well prepared for uh, different temperatures and actually day by day being outside. So do not worry about that. Keep it in your fridge for 10 minutes only and while it's disconnected here from your wristbands as well. Now double check if this helps fixing the issue or not. Now if none of these steps help fixing the issue, I'm so sorry but you might be facing something much complicated here in, team in terms of problem in here. But give it a try and let me know in the comment section if the steps helped you fixing the issue or not. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq and for making it till the end of the video. If you find my content useful, consider subscribing and like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.